I wanna run up the money in love with the music I do it with passion. Yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer in love with the fashion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a move with the money, they calling me Michael. I'm feeling like Jackson. Hi, y'all. What is going on, guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have the top 10 Jordan ones. For under, we're gonna do under 200. I don't know if I titled it that, but this is definitely the cheapest. So the max Jordan 1 price that we're gonna go to is that 200. I think I do have one at like 220 though, I'm not gonna lie. And there's one at 220, but I think everything else is under 200. So from a people on a budget that are sneakerheads and they're just getting into sneakers and all that, and they love Jordan 1s, because in case you don't know, over the past couple months, Jordan 1s have just went like crazy up in price. I'm so happy I started copping all mine back when I did, because some of these shoes that I copped for like, like you guys saw at the beginning of quarantine a little bit before quarantine I, they're up like three hundred dollars from what i paid so and even the, these i'm so happy i bought those at the right time because they're going for like a thousand plus right now if you're new to the channel take a second out of your day hit that subscribe button make sure to check out the past video the video before that um yeah, so uh, reason i'm doing this because on tiktok i see this a lot where when i post a video with my jordan ones you're like oh i really want a pair of jordan ones this that or even in my youtube comment section like dang i really want a pair of jordan ones but they're just so expensive like Blah, 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 blah. And I understand it's hard. So we're gonna be doing the top 10 cheapest Jordan ones that we have right here. Now I'm gonna show the most, I'm gonna go most expensive. Actually, I don't even think I'm gonna go in order. I'm just gonna tell you the prices and stuff. I'm gonna do it based off of new prices, but keep this in mind guys. You can find these sneakers for probably up to $100 less than what I'm gonna tell you if you would just buy used. And there's nothing wrong with buying used because sometimes used shoes just mean they've been worn like once or twice, you can't even tell. If you're gonna wear them anyway, there's no, there's nothing wrong with buying used shoes, especially if you really want a pair of Jordan 1s. I feel like used is kind of the way to go um, for like more like of like the type colorways, I guess you could say. Whereas these, they are already under 200. Um, some might even be under 100. I think there's one pair that's under 100. Um, I know I'm not doing mids, I'm doing all highs and everything with Nike Air, all that stuff. So don't 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 think I'm doing mids or anything, because mids you can definitely find under 100. Jordan Retro 1, highs, like the ones back here. First sneaker is actually, hold up, I'm a, actually I don't even think I, I don't even gotta pull this up because I have the sneaker. This is the sneaker that I was talking about. It does go for you could find at the lowest you could find this is for 220, and it is the Jordan 1 um Pine Green 2.0s. Now they don't come with yellow laces, they come with the black and then they come with uh red laces i think on the side but this you can literally find for 220 um again when i say 220 if you go on goat right now and you see like your size going for 250 do not just check goat do not just check StockX. check there's so many sneaker places out there like ebay um ebay you just gotta be careful but it's really not that hard to find steals on ebay especially with jordan ones like this like this pair because this was kind of like a more like slept on release I feel like and this will definitely go up in price so I would recommend getting this now this is the most expensive Jordan 1 on the list though for 220 which is like the lowest I've seen some of them so again that's just with this pair though so 220 for these again don't just check golden stock eggs there's plenty of other places out there just trust me like eBay again as I was saying Instagram sellers definitely a great option yeah that was the most expensive one now everything is gonna be 200 or less coming in at $200 you have the Paris Saint German um, I, I don't really don't know how to say that. I, I don't think that's the name of it, but it's okay. The Air Jordan One. We're just gonna call them the Paris um, Jordan Ones. You can find these for 200 or less. Again, depending on the size. Some might be over 200, depending on your size. But this pair right here, it, they were at outlets. Like this pair was a very. It looks like another sneaker that's on this list, which I'll get into as well. Which is way cheaper than this. So if you want to wait around, if you do want a black Air Jordan One, definitely wait around because. Just because it has like the red stripe on the side, that's pretty much the only difference. So you know what? We're just gonna get into that. So that's that. That pair is 200. The Paris pair. But these right here is probably one of the cheapest Jordan ones on this list. So I know we just switched up a little get a little bit, but this is coming in at number eight. We have this pair right here, the Jordan One Black Satins. Now, I got this pair for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. They were on markdown on Nike at 89 at one point. That's why you always gotta look for when like discount codes are out on Nike and this that. And if you don't like the shoe, then you're probably like, all right, then you're not gonna cop it. But it is a fire shoe with black laces. You can change it up if you want to do a custom to it. Um, it's just a black Jordan One. Like again, it was the same thing. With, it's literally the Paris Jordan Ones, but without the freaking red things right here. And it's satin. It's satin. So I know a lot of people don't really like the satin on it. That was like one of the main complaints. But I, I've been using this. I've been actually using this as a second skate shoe besides my blazers, and I really do like these. So yeah, and they're actually not creasing 
like that bad as I thought they would because you know how like everybody's complaining about the creed you can kind of see it right now but it's really not that bad when you're wearing them so yeah this pair you can literally find anywhere from like lowest 80s to like highest like 120s like do not pay over 120 for this sneaker which is a perfect black Jordan 1 you could if you could make you could make fire fits with this relax you can make fire fits with this they got two out of the way I mean three out of the way so getting into number seven we do have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG A Star Is Born. Now this sneaker, I actually, I'm actually watching a pair on eBay right now that are brand new for literally 190, 195 or something like that. So this sneaker you could definitely, again, that's what I'm talking, you just gotta look. Like not every, and again, you could probably get this sneaker for like 130 used, like not even like a lot, 150 used, like around there. And this sneaker is fought with the green laces. The only reason I really want this, cause it kind of looks like my bloodlines. It kind of looks like my, all the freaking black Jordan ones I have. But if I put the green laces that it comes in with this, these things can go crazy. And I actually really think this is a very, very slept on colorway. So, Hey, I mean, this this looks like one of those sneakers that might go up, and the swoosh is just dope with the st it's stitched in and everything. So definitely fire. Again, you could definitely find this under 200. You just gotta do your research. Take time out of your day to save money. Like just look around. Don't just check one spot. And if you see it for a lot, be like, dang. Check every single app that you have that involves sneakers. Coming in at number six, we do have the Air Jordan One orange peel the Gatorade pack now this one I'm putting it up a little bit like I know we're not really doing really an order like that but this one you can find this is one of those used ones so if you want to get a used sneaker which is not bad at all because some used sneakers are in very very good condition and if you're gonna wear them anyway I know I keep saying it but you're gonna wear it anyway like my pair right here I got this pair for I think it was 80 ignore how it's laced right now I did it for a video but literally $80 I got my blue pair for so you just, you just got, again you just gotta look this pair and I'm pretty sure new they don't even go over 200 so you're chilling anyway it might be like exactly 200 I right, coming in at number five um this is probably all the sneakers after this um are probably gonna be like the cheapest ones like like the under like 120 I'm talking about so this one right here you can find this from anywhere from like 150 to 200 um de again depending on your size everything changes on your size a little bit of a price range so like 150 to 200 for this the air jordan one hyper royal and i i had this sneaker i sold it and i actually regret it because but when this sneaker first came out bro they were going on markdown that's why i sold mine because i paid retail for mine and then i saw the prices going down and i just sold it back then i'm pretty sure i only sold it for like 90 too but this pair right here this is like I actually like this pair. It's just a blue Jordan 1. It looks like those that red pair that came out. It wasn't like a Europe ex exclusive or something. I really like it. But yeah, actually, I really do like this sneaker. And I'm going to regret selling it. But it is a, it's a, it's just a blue Jordan 1. And you can if you can wear this right, it'll be fire. You know, you can put in the white laces. I feel like it looks very good with the white laces instead of the all blue. But yeah, definitely a tough sneaker. Anywhere from 150 to 2. You're right here. I actually do own this sneaker. You can find this sneaker literally anywhere from a hundred dollars to like again, depending on the size, hundred dollars to like um up to 180 around there. I got this off of Nike on sale for 140. So keep that in mind. 140. This sneaker does change colors when you take pictures. If you guys want to see an Instagram picture on it, at Paul Souls, it's on my Instagram already, so you should go check that out. But yeah, this sneaker is very slept on, and it's the Zoom Air Jordan one, so it's very, very comfortable. And I know a lot of people are complaining about the materials again with the material thing, but when the flash is on, these things look fire. And again, we're going by cheap Jordan one, so I can only give you so much. The bottoms are dope too. Coming in at number three, we do have the Air Jordan one. Retro High Family Forever. Now I'm pretty sure it's like a denim -y type material on it with leather on the toe box. This sneaker I actually remember when I was in like middle school this came out or something like that. Yeah, like 2014 around there I'm pretty sure this came out. And this comes with, you see like the little three eyelets at the top, the blue, the red, the yellow. It comes with blue, red, and yellow laces so you can switch it up. And the bottom is dope with that like baby blue the bottom. And it's just a very, very, I feel like not a lot of people know about this Jordan 1 High. And I think this can be very dope if you wear the right outfit with it, put the cool laces in it. It can be very cool. So yeah, definitely a slept on. This one goes literally 165 is my size and you can really find it less on your size or maybe a little bit more. But yeah, anywhere. Subtract like $30 from 165 or add $30 to 165 and that's like the price range for it And it's a sneaker that came out a while ago So not a lot of, and not a lot of people know about it. So I think I think it's a good option I'm just saying I actually really like that sneaker coming in at number two now I had to throw this on the list But don't worry I'm gonna make up for it because I'm gonna show two things for number one So this sneaker right here the Air Jordan 1 retro Deconstructed now. There's a whole pack of these. It's this blue pair the black pair a tan pair I actually really like the tan pair and it's basically like a 
a canvas material on the whole entire upper, but it is, hey, it's that Jordan 1 high, so it's not a mid, I don't want to hear it, it's a high. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's just this pair, and you could, bro, these were on Foot Locker, I remember back in the day when they first came out, they were, on, they were at Foot Locker on sale for like $40, $50. Now, it says that they're listed at like 100 110 115 so, again, depending on the size, but you could probably find these things for under 100 if you just look, look good enough, because I... These things were going for 40 at Foot Locker back in the day. Coming in at number one, I'm going to show you two sneakers just to switch it up a little bit. So this pair right here, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG City of Flight. Now this one, um, this is another sneaker that hit outlets. It's just an all black Jordan 1 with gold. And the reason I feel like it did is because the materials are kind of cheesy on it. Like when I saw them in person, I remember they were sitting at finish line. I think it's in like a vlog from like two years ago. Whenever these released, I think 2018 they released. And like it's called City of Flight. Like I... I personally don't really like it, but again, it's just that black Jordan 1 with little hints of gold. You can make it look tough. Other sneaker coming in number one, it is the Air Jordan 1 Fearless, the woman's pair. And this sneaker, I think it gets a little bit too much hate. I don't think it's that bad. It, the pictures make it look weird. Like, I'm not, like this picture, it makes it look a little bit weird. But when I seen it in person, I was like, this could actually be tough, hold up. Because like, it's not as bright as you think. It, it's, and the color blocking is like a OG type color blocking. So I really like the color blocking. It's like a brownish. It's a little flashy, but it, it's a women's. But again, just go up a half, one and a half size for a men. So if you're a 10 in men's, get an 11 and a half in women's. And if you're a women's, get your women's size. This sneaker you can really find at $100 flat. And I think just for the color blocking itself, it's definitely a very good sneaker. And that's why I put it in number one. Because I actually really do like that sneaker. And I feel like... When I see a sneaker that gets a lot of hate, I always like look at the bright side and I look at the positives and I'm like, yo, I could probably make this look tough with a fit because I do that a lot where you guys are like, oh, same thing with Jordan 1 Lows. Like, y'all were hating on me when I first started copying Jordan 1 Lows because it wasn't popular. Now, everybody likes Jordan 1 Lows. Like, I, not everybody, but like a lot of people like Jordan 1 Lows now and it's just like, it's like, bro, y'all, y'all, we're talking like, poo. Like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you still hate Jordan 1 Lows, I understand you, but I'm just saying like people that aren't even subscribed to me because I got a lot of people that subscribe to me that obviously like Jordan 1 lows because you may be like, yo, Paul, like I doubted them at first, which is fine. You could admit to your mistakes. You'd be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. That's another great option. Jordan 1 lows, like if you, I know we're doing Jordan 1 highs, blah, 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 but Jordan 1 lows literally retail for 90 to $100. They don't really resell that much as of right now. As of right now. I would just say, I wouldn't leave that too long because I've seen how it works. As you guys know, I sold a lot of my Jordan 1 lows, but I do have my favorites. I have those. I have the blue ones down there. I have yeah, the ones that I need, especially I kept. Right here, this Jordan 1 low goes for like 300 upwards. I think 400 now. Down there, the Royal Toe lows go for literally like $200. This sneaker that sat. So it's always like, you know, look at the sneakers that not everybody really likes and be like, dang, that could be tough. Because whenever I post a picture in it, Everybody be in the comments like, wow, how to pull me these look tough? How to pull me these look tough? Like, uh, so that's what I'm just saying. If you're new to the channel, take a second out of your day. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, that was uh, the top 10 Jordan 1s for under 200, basically. Um, again, depending on your size, do some research, look around, all that stuff. And yeah, hit that subscribe button. Grind to 50K subscribe button. And hit that like button, especially. Leave a like, leave a like, leave a like, leave a like, leave a like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be back in the video tomorrow, as always, or next day, depending on when this video comes out. <laughs> Bye. She say if you need me, then call me. Yeah, I can't forget what the streets taught me. Yeah, when I look up, the sky has fallen. Yeah, I know the dark night days revolve around me. Yeah, she say it bothers me whenever you don't hit back, and I swear that I don't get that. Honestly, no, I don't feel that.